Wiki News. Welcome to today's headlines. Massob attacks Ikwede Madu. Jim Nwobodo says they are political slaves. Massob attacks Ikwede Madu. Jim Nwobodo says they are political slaves. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. Masob has berated Senator Ike, Ikwere Madu, and Jim Wobodo. Masob, in a statement signed by its national secretary, Comrade Ugoke Ibem Ugoke, described their statement against Mr. Peter Obi who is running for president as unguided and provocative utterances. The separatist movement argued that both men saying Indigo will never vote for Obi is a testament that they are political slaves to Awusa Fulani of Northern Oligarchy. The statement read in part, It is very unfortunate that land men like Ikwirimadu and Uwobodo will be used against their own people to say that South East will not vote for Mr. Peter Obi. We even made them the spokesperson for Indibo. Ike Ikwirimadu and Jim Uwobodo should be ashamed of themselves. For being slaves who couldn't even aspire to be the president. Even when it is the turn of Indibo to produce president of Indibo, they run away and want to decide where Indibo will vote. Masob observed that Ikwere Madu has forgotten so soon what happened to him few years ago in faraway Germany. How angry Biafrans dealt with him. Masob is not surprised over Ike Ikwere Madu's action because we know that he can sell his brothers because of his greed for power. His aim is to return to Senate, and the only way to get the ticket is to attack his Igbo brother. Massive wish to warn all Igbo politicians that our non violent nature should not be taken for granted. It is time all Igbo political betrayers in Igbo land will be paid back in their own coins. Ike Ikwerimadu has been in government power for over 20 years and still not satisfied. Masob will not allow greedy politicians in Igbo land to destroy the future of our next generation because of their selfish desires. Masob will mobilize Igbo youth, market women, men, some unions and students to vote against bad leadership in entire Igbo land, the statement concluded. Movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Masob, has berated Senator Ike Ikwerimadu and Jim Inwobodo. Masob in a statement signed by its national secretary, Comrade Oguoke Ibem Oguoke, described their statement against Mr. Peter Obi, 
who is running for president as unguided and provocative utterances. The separatist movement argued that both men saying Indigo will never vote for Obi is a testament that they are political slaves to Aousa Fulani of Northern Oligarchy. The statement read in part, It is very unfortunate that landmen will e like Ekwerimadu and Uobodo will be used against their own people to say that South East will not vote for Peter Obi. We even made them the spokespersons for Indigo. E.K. Ikwerimadu and Jim Wobodo should be ashamed of themselves for being slaves who couldn't even aspire to be the president. Even when it is the turn of Indigo to produce president of Nigeria, they run away and want to decide where Indigo will vote. Masob observed that Ikwerimadu has forgotten so soon what happened to him few years ago in faraway Germany, how angry Biafran dealt with him. Masob is not surprised over, over Ik Ikwerimadu's action because we know that he can sell his brothers because of his greed for power. His aim is to return to Senate and the only way to get the ticket is to attack his Igbo brother. Masob wish to warn all Igbo politicians that our non-violent nature should not be taken for granted. It is time, it is time all Igbo political betrayers in Igbo land will be paid back in their own coins. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.